Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share my top tips on how to trade around the Federal Reserve's FOMC meetings, which always have a significant impact on the US dollar, the Forex market, stocks, and even gold. If you're trading any of these, understanding how to approach these events can make all the difference between a winning trade and missing opportunity and losing trade. So stick around because I've got some key insights that you don't want to miss. And before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm constantly sharing tips, trading strategies, live trading. So make sure you're tuned in for all of the updates. So let's get right into it. First, let's talk about why FOMC meetings matter. Eight times a year, the Federal Reserve holds its Federal Open Market Committee FOMC meetings. These meetings are closely watched by traders all around the world because U.S. interest rates as well as U.S. policy drive many of the movements in the markets. And when it comes to these decisions, especially if there's a potential interest rate change on the horizon, that can be very market moving. Every FOMC meeting also has a press conference from the Fed chairman. And four times a year, we get the economic projections that can give us insights into how the central bank thinks the economy is doing, where interest rates could be headed in the future, and the overall health of the economy. And this is huge for traders, whether you're trading the US dollar, forex pairs, stocks, or even gold. Because what the Fed says and doesn't say can shift market momentum in a matter of minutes, and that impact can last for days, weeks, or months at a time. With Federal Reserve rate decisions, timing is key. So let's look at when these announcements happen. At 2 p.m. Eastern Time, this is when the monetary policy announcement is released. And that's when we get the interest rate change. And sometimes when we have economic projections, that's the time that it's released. Economic projections are updated four times a year in March, June, September, and December. This is also the time when the central bank's dot plot forecast will be released. And in many ways, this is the most important aspect of the economic projections because it gives the market a sense of how quickly and aggressively policymakers think interest rates should be lowered or raised in the next two years. These dots basically show what the policymakers think where interest rates should be at any point in time over the two year period. Now, there are a lot of dots because both voting and non-voting members get to share their outlook, but voting members for the Federal Reserve change every year, so everyone's views are important. Then 30 minutes later at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time, the Fed Chair gives a press conference, and that's when you really want to pay attention. And you want to pay attention because the market tends to react strongly to what's said during this time. You can find the exact dates for these meetings on the Federal Reserve's website or any economic calendar for that matter. Now you want to make sure you set your alerts so you're not caught off guard you miss these rate decisions. Here's an important tip. When the Federal Reserve Chair starts speaking, usually the first 15 minutes are the most important. This is when the main points are made, what the Federal Reserve wants us to take away, and it's often enough to move the markets. Afterwards, reporters get the chance to ask questions, and the answers to the first few questions are typically the ones that the market really cares the most about. With that in mind, here are the three key things you need to know when trading FOMC meetings. First, there's the initial move at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, New York Time, right after the announcement. If there's a change in interest rates or a major update to economic projections, you'll often see a quick, sharp move in the markets. The FOMC statement is also released at this time. This is the market's initial reaction to the news. Then you have the calm before the storm or the calm before the speech between 2.15 and 2.30 p.m. New York Time. After that initial spike, you might see a bit of profit taking or consolidation as traders brace for the Fed Chair's press conference. There's usually some hesitation as the market waits for further details. After that, we get the greater potential volatility period. During the Fed Chairman's speech, which is between 2.30 p.m. and 3 p.m. New York time, when the Fed Chair starts to speak, volatility can increase dramatically. Traders are looking for clues about the future. Will interest rates continue to go lower? Will they go higher? Are they concerned about growth? Are they concerned about inflation? The first 15 minutes of the speech are where most of the important information are revealed. By 3 p.m., the market had basically figured out its direction, and the Federal Reserve has basically given its main takeaway. And that is when we should get the real move of the day that can often last for the rest of the session and carry over into the Asian markets, maybe, maybe even to the London and New York markets. So let's take a look at an example to see this in action. During the last FOMC rate decision in July, here's what happened to the US dollar Japanese yen currency pair. At 2 p.m., the pair rallied when the Federal Reserve decided to leave interest rates unchanged. 
and then 30 minutes later at 2.30, as the Fed chair started to speak, the US dollar began to weaken, and the dollar yen gave back its gains, trailing sharply lower. And that sell-off continued throughout the session and even carried into the Asian markets. During his press conference, Fed Chairman Powell had suggested that the recent progress in lowering inflation would enable them to lower interest rates, and this is what the market had been waiting for some time for. More specifically, he said that a rate cut could be on the table at its next meeting in September. That is why timing and understanding the flow of these events is so important if you want to trade these FOMC rate decisions because there could be you know, separate movements throughout the FOMC meeting. So let's talk about what to expect in the next FOMC meeting. And we've got a big one coming up this week. The Fed is expected to lower interest rates for the first time since 2022. After the July meeting, traders were split on whether to expect a 25 or 50 basis point rate cut. But now most people think 25 basis points is going to happen ahead of the November U.S. presidential election because 50 basis points, they could be saving those moves for a more significant deterioration in the economy. Economic projections, including growth and inflation, will probably be lowered, but it's still unclear how the Fed will adjust its economic projections. The main thing to watch, though, in my opinion, will be the dot plot and whether policymakers expect more front-loaded or evenly spread rate cuts. More easing sooner would be bearish for the U.S. dollar, while fewer rate cuts spread across a longer period of time should be positive for the U.S. dollar. In terms of trading the Federal Reserve meeting and the FOMC rate decision, there are basically four ways that you can trade FOMC in the day of the rate decision. The first is a trade what I like to call proactively, which means entering a trade before the rate decision and then exiting after the announcement. This strategy requires strong conviction, careful planning, small positions, and you know being very, very quick and nimble. The second is a trade reactively, which means waiting for the announcement to happen, then trading based upon the initial market reaction. That's how Boris will be trading FOMC live with our BK traders this month. The third is to stand aside. And there's nothing embarrassing about that. Sometimes not trading is the best trade. Preserving your capital during uncertain times is just as valuable as making a winning trade. The fourth way, which is my favorite, is to wait for the dust to settle. The initial volatility to subside and to wait and look for trades at the Asia Open that evening. And that's exactly the way I will be trading FOMC. Trading around FOMC meetings can be exciting and rewarding, but it's not without its risks. Make sure you do your homework, manage your risk properly, and don't hesitate to sit out if the market's too volatile for your strategy you're not sure what's going to happen. There will always be another opportunity. As you can see, fundamental analysis matters, and if you want to learn more about how to use fundamentals to trade Forex, the special discount link for my fundamentals trading course in the description below. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like it, share with your fellow traders, and subscribe to our channel for more trading insights and strategies. Drop a comment below and let me know how you plan to be trading the upcoming FOMC rate decision. I'd love to hear from all of you. Good luck and happy trading.